All right, now we're going to dive into how I photograph the bridal party. You're going to see different aspects of that um, where I'm photographing the bridal party, the individuals, all that stuff, and I'm going to walk you through that. This initial scene right here, I am just uh, I'm capturing the bridal party as they're coming out from under the place they were. <laughs> All right. And you notice that when I come down, I come out and I photograph them um, where they are towards the light because they're getting a lot of reactions to the light. So I, I want to be down there photographing them as they look in the direction of the light. They're looking at the ceremony location right now. And then I'm just going to take a robe shot. Very simple robe shot. They're going to get the robe shot in and out. Bing, bang, boom. Girl. Yep, we're ready. Okay. Let's do it. Everybody come up next to her. Um, the only order that matters is like matron of honor, maid of honor right next to her. Other than that, everybody else can kind of just fill on in and that'd be perfect. Ooh. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, get on in there. Get on in there. Hold on. We got, we need one more over here. Seen what that light was. That's why I was taking a couple of those photos. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Good, ladies. And they're just fixing themselves. All right. Good. Now, what I'm doing here, as you can see, is uh, I have the light source from over here, right? There's a light source over here. And then what's happening is that light is coming over here and bouncing back off to them. So then there's a the light that comes from this side that's kind of filling. So I'm just using the natural light and what we have in this room as far as um, this location goes. It was just nice and easy for me to be able to use, and it just worked. So, all right. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, now you can kind of like, yeah, get in there and then like you can look over at each other like, oh my gosh, we're going to be Ha <laughs> Good. Perfect. I always do that noise. Um, I make that sound just because that's just how I am, and uh, and it works, and it makes them naturally laugh every time. I don't spend a lot of time doing these photos. I just take a couple. Love it, love it, love it. Perfect. Good, awesome, good, awesome. Cool, very good. That's great. So, um, yeah, so we'll go from there. You ladies can get in your dresses, mm -hmm. and then we'll come back down. Once you get lights awesome. in your dress, mm -hmm. we'll come down, and then, like, either you could get mostly buckled, but okay. our button, is it a yeah. button? It's zipped. Okay, mostly, or you could just use it, and mom can pretend to zip it okay. right here. And okay. then we'll do mostly, like, earrings, like, shoes, that stuff's gonna look gorgeous. Okay, here. okay. Perfect. Yeah, cool. I will always tell the bride, if I think that the room that she's getting ready in is, does not have good light, I'll check with her first, but let her know. I go, hey, this room doesn't have the best light for getting photos of you getting ready. Would it be okay with you if we moved out to this location? And generally, they're like, yeah, I've taken them outside in front of really cool walls. I've taken them out in rooms like this that have a lot more light. And then I just say, uh, I'm just going to make sure that your groom is hidden away. And they're like, good, that's perfect. That's awesome. And so then we, we do that, and they every time say, yeah, let's do that. They'd never say, no, let's stay in this room. All right. Now, when it comes to the bridal party pictures um, here, uh, it was freezing outside, so they just didn't mind this room. It was an awesome room, and they wanted to get everything uh, inside. So you can see that I'm using this light here, but I'm also using a flash. You can see the stand here, and it, it, has, a, um, it has one of those mag, mag boobs on it. Um, it's like the mag sphere, whatever, and I'm just balancing the light with this light over here. So I'm just making sure that they're nice and even, um, evenly lit with both sides, so you can see that um, in, in just a moment. Perfect, ladies. So. And again, I don't do anything crazy when it comes to photos. I'm just like, hey, line up your toes, bridesmaids. Line up your toes with the um, with the bride. So they lift up their dress. They look at the toes. They line up, make sure they're straight so that they're on the same plane. And then I take a photo of them standing forward, chest forward. And then I have them turn to the side. Um, and then I get photos of the flowers. And then I get photos of them like laughing at each other. And then I do individuals. And so we'll look at that in just a moment. Right in here, one more time right here. One, two, three. Perfect. Now that I turn in. <laughs> yeah, get the camera nice and close. Getting close. Good. Good. One, two, three. Good. Now you can uh, now again. You look at each other and be like, oh my god. Yes. Yes. Good. Perfect. 
pretty easy. And then from there, generally, I will actually um, take individuals of each of the bridesmaids. Actually, I won't. I will have, I'm going to do individuals with the bridesmaid and the bride. And then as soon as they get done with that, what I do here is I tell them, I say, okay, uh, I go up to the bride and I say, hey, uh, w would you like to do uh, just smiling pictures or would you like to do a smiling and funny one? And a lot of times they choose funny. And so I say, hey, ladies, we're going to do a funny and a smiling one. So you're going to kind of, uh, for one of them, it's just going to be straight smiling at the camera. And then the next one, you could do like an inside joke. You're going to be laughing at each other. You could bring your foreheads together. You can do a prom pose, whatever. Uh, and then after that, my assistant's going to be taking just an individual of just you. So this is really awesome because it gets them photos that they like to use to put on their Facebook or they'll use them to put on whatever. Sometimes they'll joke and be like LinkedIn. But whatever they use, they're going to put it on Instagram. They're going to share it. And it's going to be a photo directly from you which is really awesome. So I always make sure that I have those for them. And so that's what I'm gonna do here. And you'll see the same lighting setup. <laughs> Together, they're doing their little wolf pack thing. <laughs> photos of it along the way. And you can see the flash up here now. Um, so, easy peasy. <laughs> All right, now what I'm doing here is um, it's indoors. Now there's some light that's coming from this window over here, right? And this light is actually backlighting them. So what I do is I have another light over here, and then you can see this light stand with a light that's coming up here and coming down in front of them. So there's actually three light sources here. Two of them are from light stands. One of them is from outside, but I'm making sure that this is a well-lit formal. Now, I will do multiple variations of this. If there's if there's over four bridesmaids every single time, I will do a uh, I will have the bridesmaids sit. So I'll grab the guys, grab a chair because five people, like 10 people, 12 people across is just way too many people. So I have I have the girls sit first and then the next picture I have them alternate. So I say, "All right, you two, you two, you two, you two switch." And so you see them come down here and they've switched up the position here. The guys were um, st standing, but now they've switched up with some of the girls and stuff, and they've switched up their position. Um, the flow goes like this. I do one with um, guys on the girl guy side, girls on the girl side. Then I do one where they enter, like, their guy, girl, guy, girl. And then, like, I have them kiss or whatever. And then I bring out the bride and groom, and I have the bride and groom – um, like kiss in the middle. I have them kind of like come around a little bit and then I have the bride and groom. I go up to the groom. I'm like, hey bro, bring her in. Give her like, mm, give her some right here. You know, you, you're about to marry this girl or you just married this girl. Bring her in. And then I'm like, everybody else in the background, I want you to get excited for them and I want you to, uh, to have fun. And then sometimes they're like, I actually, every single time, uh, it doesn't matter how hyped they are or how like not hyped they are. I walk up and I go, all right, all right, hold on, hold on. That was weak, y'all. I mean, like that sucked. And they all laugh at that. So I say that. That was weak. That sucked. And they laugh at that. And I say, come on, bro. Bring a ring. Give her a little something. And then I was like, you guys, I don't care if you jump, you high five, you do whatever. But you guys have some fun back there um, and celebrate with them. And they're like, all right, all right. And then they start talking about it and discussing with each other. And then after that photo, they're all bunched up. They're already having fun. And so like, I'll make sure the dress is moved out of the way. And then I go, all right, everybody, bring it in for a big group hug. Bring, bring, bring it in for a group hug. And they like that. So let's see that sequence play out. Uh, whoops. So you see that, and then I have them all stand up here, and then I have the bride and groom come out. I move my flashes. There's no sound for this section, or else I'd play it. But then I'm like, all right, go ahead, kiss her, bring her in, and then like, look at them, not even do anything. And then I was like, oh, hold on, he's moving a chair. But they didn't do anything right here. So then I was like, they, they scooted in. I had them scoot in a little bit. I was like, all right, that sucked. Watch. All right, guys, watch. You'll see, and then they'll probably laugh at it. They're probably going to laugh. But I was like, that sucked, guys. See? And they're like, oh, whatever. Okay, okay. And so then you'll see they'll kind of get into it and, and have a little bit more fun with it. See, there it is. And they love that, and that was a lot of fun. These guys over here are too cool for school. But that's okay. And then I'm like, all right, big group hug, big group hug. And generally, this is a lot of fun, but uh, she had a big dress, so they were trying to be really careful. Um, and they, they like this photo a lot. And then I say, kiss her. And then he kisses her, and then I'm like, kiss each other. And then I'm like, don't look at me, everybody, look at them. And then they go in there, and they have fun. 
Now with the groomsmen, I make it really simple. I go, um, all right guys, left over right, face me, shoulders face me. Um, square up with the, or line up your toes with the groom's toes. So you do that, and then I have them turn in, and I go, all right, it's a little more casual. Unbutton, put your hand in your pocket, throw your arm over the guy next to you. And so then they do that as well. And then I make the, the groom photos. See them do that? And then I make it really efficient here. I go, all right, guys, we're going to take two photos. One photo, you're going to have left over right, buttoned up. And then the next photo, unbutton, taller guy goes arm over, other guy goes arm through, hands in your pocket. And then I go through and I go, all right, uh, button, unbutton, button, unbutton, button, unbutton. They're always confused at first, every time. And then they're like, oh, okay, as it gets going. And they're like, this is efficient. This is really cool. I like that. And the guys always thank me after because of how short these photos are. So you'll see it in here. And then when there's like sunlight, when it's bright sunlight, uh, oh no, no, I'll tell you that in a minute. We're gonna do two photos, okay? One button, one unbutton. So, button, button up, unbutton up. And so you'll see it's kind of just assembly line and they'll do stuff in between and that's okay I'll get all that but it's just straight up assembly line pretty simple there and you'll see that that whole thing only lasted see getting each of those individuals lasted about three or four minutes pretty easy um, three minutes actually and then um, I do family photos when I do family photos, I do uh, both of them together, or sometimes I'll start with one of them. They both just walked up together. Both of them together, then I'll do dad by himself, and then I do mom by herself. And I always, when I do mom, I have the groom um, bring her in, and then I have the groom give her a kiss on the cheek. Um, if it's just, if it's dad and daughter, dad give bride a kiss on the cheek. Let's see, little kiss there. And they kind of do their own thing, and it's really cute for them. So, uh, that's kind of how. Now, I don't get too crazy. I don't do a lot of stuff. Now, sometimes, though, when it comes to the groom photos, I will actually have them do things like um, when I'm outside, like if there's outside and there's sun, I'll be like, all right, guys, have you seen Reservoir Dogs where they're kind of on the cover and they're like looking bad, A, and they got their guns or they're buttoning up? We're going to do that mixed with a little flying V. So if you've ever seen the Mighty Ducks, flying V is that little V formation that they make, and they love those references. So then I'll have them walk towards me slowly. They'll be looking to the side. Um, they'll be making faces. They'll look here. They'll fix their watch, whatever. And then, like, if there's bright sun behind, which is cool or sun at all, I'll look at the shadows. I try to make sure the shadows are right in front of me um, and the sun is directly behind them because the shadows on the ground are cool. So I always put this in black and white. And then I'll always look at, like, the shadows with, like, their legs kind of cut in half but the shadows showing their body. And that's a really cool shot. So um, that's kind of how I manage and go through the bridal party. Uh, photographs. Uh, of course, if you guys need anything or have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. Pssh.